Still ahead in the programme, on the fast track we visit the high-tech school for racing car drivers and... Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Rich. This is a nine. This is a ten. This is a jack. This is a queen. This is a king. This is an ace. They've got red backs and we'll see you later in the programme. Magician Paul Daniels, who lives near Henley, has recently been selling some of his old tricks on eBay. The 72-year-old may have decided to hang up his wand, but old-fashioned magic seems to be having something of a revival. Oxfordshire magicians Sam Strange and Richard Young will be demonstrating the art of illusion in Tame this weekend. They came into the studio earlier and I asked them how old they were when they got interested in magic. Well, I was about... I've always had a niggling interest, but I was about sort of 18 or so when I got into it, I think, seriously, anyway. I played a lot of cards and learned a few card tricks and learned I could be popular doing magic, so, uh, yeah. I was unpopular from a young age, <laughs> yeah. so, I, so I started when I was about eight, so... <clears throat> Oh, and how come, how do you learn how to do the tricks? Because magicians are notoriously secretive about giving away the tricks of their trade. So how do you learn how to do magic if you can't tell anyone how to do it? A lot of our ideas come from very old books and things like that. So you, it's very difficult to come up with a new idea in magic. So we'll basically take a very old idea and then try and put a modern spin on it and mix it in with our own type of humour. It's difficult because there's two of us, two magicians. So Yeah, we're doing a double act. So essentially in this show we're doing a double act. So, you know... Presenting, presenting a trick with two people is a bit more challenging, I tend to think. We think, anyway. But we, we took you out on the streets in town yep, on you this did. weekend, yep. the pair of you, yes. doing a trick that I, I expect is an old one <coughs> with a modern twist on it, and it yep. involves a lime and a £5 note or £20 note. Yeah, it does, yeah. We essentially accosted some people in the street um, who were a bit, a, bit, a bit annoyed, I think, at us doing that. But uh, we borrowed some money from them, they initialed the note, and then I think, uh, yeah, I think probably the rest of the things you can catch on the clip there. So. Okay. Have a look. <laughs> if, you, if you can tell me the number of pips or seeds inside of that line, you win the cash back with no strings attached. <laughs> How many pips? Yes. Six. Brilliant. You don't carry a knife on you, do you? No, I'm afraid no? not. You really? carry a knife. I've got a weapon <laughs> with me, it's okay. Let's hold on to that for a second. The weapon there. Richard, I should hand this lime nice and fairly. I should hand the lime to Richard Young, my glamorous assistant here. Empty hands, empty hands. To take the knife, we're going to make a small incision inside the lime like this. And uh, watch carefully. Watch my fingers carefully. Here, we're just going to uh, cut inside the lime. You see that? Look at that. Now, if you would take it out and verify that it's not just a £20 note, it should hopefully be exactly the same £20 note that just vanished a few seconds ago. And more importantly, it should have your initials on, does it? Yes. That's it a miracle. Cool. There it is. <laughs> Believable. <laughs> Look at that, very impressive. But yeah. They love a bit of magic, don't they, as well? <laughs> yeah, they, they seem to. I think they were nice, actually. They were very yeah. friendly. It's very early in the morning as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor people. So you're going to work some magic on me now with a card yes, trick? Yes, yes, absolutely. Which I'm looking so, forward to. Yeah, yeah. well, I shouldn't get too excited, Geraldine. This is a three-and-a-half-hour trick we're going to do for you now. <laughs> OK? Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I have here a deck of cards, OK, and a question for you. OK. okay? Do you believe in coincidence? Do I believe in coincidence? Yeah. Yes, I do. So do I. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go. Comedy and magic. <laughs> Two for the price of one. I have here a deck of cards. It's a trick based on coincidence. So inside the deck is one face-up card inside the face-down deck, Jody. There's one card reversed. All I want you to do, uh, if, it, if it's okay, is to say the name of any playing card you think that may be. Now? Yes, please. Five of spades. Right. Uh, do, <laughs> do you want to change your mind or are yeah. you happy with that decision? I'm happy with that. And the deck is in full view. There's no way anyone could have known you were going to say the Five of Spades, arguably not even yourself. I shall spread through the cards. Every single card here, with the exception <gasps> of the Five of Spades, is facing one way. Now, Geraldine, if I lean that forward, can you How take do that card you do that? and turn it over as well, please, if that's okay? Turn the card over. It's the only red coloured card inside the entire deck of blue ones there. Hold your hand out for me. I'm going to give you the deck of cards. Would you pop your other hand on top of the deck? Cover go. the whole deck. We're just going to take this one out. Now, this is not important anymore. The challenge is with the deck you're holding on to. Yeah. We just made them vanish. Have a look. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> That's you magic. How do you do that? Obviously, well, not going to tell me, are you? Very, very well. <laughs> very asking. well. I was very, very impressed. <laughs> so, yeah. so more of that kind of stuff and, and other types of illusions in Tay. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, the close-ups, Rich and I both work professionally as close-up magicians and that's how we make our living, but uh, this show we're doing is an illusion show, essentially, with a bit of a comedy twist. There's, I don't think there's any card magic in the show at all, really. So bigger a stage illusion, you know. It's a complete mixture of things, so we've got uh, everything from levitation, uh, I'm going to walk through an industrial fan, and we end with a thing with ghosts, so... Yeah, a real mixture, mixture, to be honest, yeah. 
Sounds like it should be a good evening. There's two shows a day, isn't there, over the weekend? There are, yeah. There's a 4pm and 7.45 performance on the Saturday and Sunday. And all tickets are just £9. Bargain. <laughs> Bargain. Did we say that together? We did. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for coming in, thank you. No, thank you. Shane, Sam and Richard can't conjure up some better weather for this weekend. They're on at the Tame Players Theatre if you want to see them. That's all from us. I'll be here again at 10.25. From everyone here, goodbye.